satisfaction in Guys, today I am doing my powder and setting spray collection. I haven't got too many. I've got four powders and one setting spray. But I just wanted to show you these because these are my favourite. I've gone through some powders a lot in my time. So I wanted to show you the ones that I keep on buying and keep on repurchasing and the ones that I love. Um, if you're wondering, I'm just going to be able to get rid of me with this look. So if you want to know how to do it, um, that is up as well. So about my tried and true. This is actually the MUA Perfect um, Loose Powder Matte Perfect. This is a great powder. But what I actually have inside of here is baby powder, um, talcum powder, whatever you call it. This is my Oh, this is my life. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't make me dry. I'm dry skin and it doesn't make me dry, which is amazing. Um, it sets my foundation and you can cook with it. Um, and yeah, I just love it. It's very, very cheap. You can get a lot of uses out of it. Um, so I just put it in this matte, this MUA powder pot. But I really like the MUA, the MUA powder that was in it before as well. That was really, really good. So if you are looking for two good cheap powders, get these two first because they're absolutely amazing powder so i prefer loose powders better than um pressed powders because i feel like you can get a lot more out of it um and it will set your face better i feel anyway um so if you really like the matte look and you like to cook and things like that go for baby powder if you want a cheap um powder because i absolutely love it it's amazing baby powder is a lot better for you than flour because it's more finely um it's more fine and it sets better on the face and it's just it's actually meant for your skin um unlike flour it's meant for eating and cooking so yeah baby powder is actually meant for your skin so don't forget that you can put it on your skin um i think that people freak out and think oh my god why would you put baby powder on your face but it's actually made for your skin so why wouldn't you so yeah the next loose powder which is actually quite expensive in the stores and this is the max factor i can never say the bloody name i'm gonna put it on the screen um, Ella Barrex, um loose powder, translucent in yeah natural translucent or translucent natural. I freaking love this packaging. It's just bang. Doesn't it look like an 80s kids like packaging? I need to clean this. Actually, you can go in there because I need to clean it. Yes, it comes with a little sponge. It's got the little um, protector on it. This is my powder where I feel like oh my god, my makeup is so messed up today. Nothing's gonna save it. I'll whack this out and it just saves it completely. Or oh, this is like my powder if like I'm I'm going out for a night out and like I want to look good and things like that. This is this powder and I absolutely I love it. It's expensive in the stores. It's about seven to eight pound. I've looked at it and it's quite expensive on Amazon. Um, it's like four pounds, two two to four pounds. So like it's very cheap on Amazon. So look it up on Amazon and it sure will come up quite cheap. I absolutely love this. The next powder I have is the Rimmel Stay Matte, is it? Yeah, Rimmel Stay Matte, it's all rubbed off in um, Silky Beige. I bought this twice and I kind of like it. I mean, I don't use it as much as the other ones, but you know, it's there, it's something to use. I normally use it when I go travelling because I don't like taking those powders with me um, when I'm travelling because like, it's just gonna go everywhere, isn't it? You know it will. Um, so I like to take this with me and yeah, it's very good. It's, got a slight colour to it, gives you a slight bit of pigment um, and it mattifies your face and I like it. The last one is my favourite um, pressed powder ever. As I said, I'm not a lover of pressed powder but I'll buy this again and again and again and again and again and again and again. This is Lavelle. I can never say the brand name so I'll put it up on here on the screen. 404 Cream Powder Translucent and again, this has got a little sponge and again, she needs to be washed out. Um, Life. This is like powder foundation. It gives you coverage, it gives you colour, and it's just so uh oh, oh it's so creamy. If you've got dry skin and you want a good coverage powder, please try this. Again, it's cheap, it's about two to three pounds. I'm obsessed with it, I love it. I use this again on nights out. Um I kind of like mix these two together and make like lovely babies with it um on my face and I just oh, I love this so much and the sponge which i just chucked um <laughs> is so good for picking up pigmentation and then you put it on your face and you're really confident and i just use like a brush like this and i blend it out um oh my god i love it so much like if you like drag makeup and you like 
you know, flick full coverage makeup. Please try this for cheap. You will not regret it. It is amazing. And lastly, my face spray. I love this. This is a DIY. I talk about this a ton on my channel. It's literally water and mint, um, like gel mint. And it is amazing. It refreshes because of the mint and it's moisturizing because of the gel. And it takes away the powderiness of your foundation and it just sets your face and makes it more dewy. But also because of the powder, it's setting it as well. I absolutely love this stuff. I spray it all the time, everywhere. It smells so good as well. It makes your face smell like peppermint. And I'm just so obsessed with it. I, I, Before I go, there is one, and it also helps with migraine. But I feel like if I have a migraine come in, I'll spray this on my face, like, and then I'll just feel like so much more refreshed and awake and a bit more better. And then I'll take a paracetamol, and then it goes. So I'm probably in the paracetamol, but this just makes you feel really nice and awake. And if you, uh, especially if you're at school, spray this in your lunch or break times, and because you're looking at the whiteboard and all that, it really helps your eyes as well. Um, and I just, I'm obsessed. Beautiful. Okay guys, so that was it. That's all my powders. I know it's a little, but they are my tried and true powders that I will buy again and again and again. The only one that I wouldn't really buy is probably in the Rimmel Stay Matte, but I probably won't ever run out of this because I don't barely use it. But the other three, these three, I'd buy again and again and again. Well, four, because I'd buy the MUA powder again. Um, I just, I love me some loose powder. You can never go wrong with loose powder, I think. Um, unless you get it everywhere and then you kind of screw it, but I love it. So that was a quick little video, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Forget to like this video if you want some more collections. Um, subscribe, comment down below what collection you want, and what videos you want me to do. Anything, and I'll probably do it. Um, and yeah, all my links are linked down below. Subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys. How to get off the chain, off the glass, off the flip, off the rib, let's rack Yes I ain't love with a stripper, but I'm getting a sprung One time, keep bang, keep getting It's the immigrants <laughs> Taking over yeah. In the 80s, that's why I'm a little crazy Here's a little Be free, baby, freakily